sweet. All the uh, hinges are removed from the doors and the A-pillar. I got a piece of steel here. This is A-thin. If I don't take out my light. There you go. I need a tape measure. Rule will do. This should be ooh, just enough. I need four and a quarter. Um, across the bottom of my doors now there's really nothing I'm going to flip this one over get the nuts out of it you can see the big curve so this is sheet metal there's really nothing behind it um, what I'm going to do is make a plate that will go across this top tube, the one inch, and reach up and in and over, and it'll make a nice curve. But I'm going to make it out of that eighth inch scrap I have. It's got to be five feet tall, uh, four and a half inches wide. That's my project. Got it all drawn up. I bring my own steel in. Uh, the hinges are in the Jeep. They're going to be welded tonight. Get all my plates separated. Driver's door top and bottom. Passenger's top and bottom. Uh, my half inch hole is looking good. Of course, you know me, I squirted some brown on it because I can. I don't mind the brown, green, brown, green, brown, green. It gives it like this, uh, like it's used effect. You know, like it's old. There's all the screws. Still loving that steering wheel. That thing is just too cool. <laughs> Can't wait till the day it turns the wheel. Um, she's got a blanket. She gets a blanket every night, just to keep the moisture out in the morning. It gets pretty moist in a garage in the summer because we're in the shade overnight. It gets cool in here, and then the sun comes out and evaporates it all. But it takes a while. I still got to get rid of that. What's left of that cab over there? I'm going to get the junkyard truck and get rid of a bunch of stuff. They'll take just about anything. Um, here's my grinders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight grinders. <laughs> Not counting impacts, which is one, two, three uh, chisels. There's two uh, angle grinders. There's one there, and there's about three more over here. There's another one. There's another two more cutting wheels. Vice grips, I have tons. But yeah, I think uh, I can get some beef across the bottom of these doors and uh, get attacked to the tubes. Um, I was thinking of, you know, this welding stuff here. If I can get another piece of this, whatever I cut in this shape of the eighth inch, I'll put the welding over it and I'll make it secure to the bottom tube. But I'm not going to connect it to the door. I'll just make it uh, push up against it. That way, I get, this door panel's actually got a nice gouge in it. Like it fell. It didn't fall. It came that way. Um, if I got another door skin, I could literally peel the wood out of it and slap it on this frame in no time. After I, All I'd have to make is that little plate right there that connects top to bottom, and that was easy. Um, yeah, it's a lot of work. Some of these things you see me put together, I've had for years, and I mean, it took weeks to make them, you know. Um, some things I bought, some things I cut, some things I bought, some things I bought, <laughs> bought, big bucks bought. I'm going to take my key out. How's that one? Um, some things you just make from scrap. There's one thing I like about metal. I mean, it, with wood, you can't make a coffee table and then break it all up and make a picnic table out of it. You know, once it's a coffee table, it's a coffee table. There's no going back. 
you can't weld the wood together. But uh, with metal, you can cut anything up, make something else. You could cut up this thing and make two go karts. You could cut it up and use the frame for anything a deck, a house, who knows, a, a trailer. You could make this thing a trailer in a couple hours. But we're not going to make it a trailer. I gotta clean up my rims. They're all covered in WD-40. That's why they're nice and clean. You wipe it off, it looks good, but I like to leave it on. Um, another good trick is take a clean rag and wipe some tranny fluid on it. Tranny fluid, like on your car frame, you wipe it on your car frame and it does not wash off. Same thing goes with mineral oil. It's pretty, pretty good stuff, and I'll show you why. That stuff I sprayed on the frame over here was mineral oil, and I'll be damned. It's still got that like sheen to it you know that whole Charlie Sheen thing going on not that sheen yeah still there it doesn't look dry anymore that's the word it looks kind of oily but not super oily and the green paint is very very dry looking and that's the idea nobody even noticed that we got rid of the white that was here me and dad painted the cab and I took off the crap that was here now I had some plates of sheet metal here holding the two panels together back in the day when I had the body tacked to the doors with a couple pieces of metal sheet metal um, nobody even noticed the white is gone it's all green I like army green it's one of those colors that hey it scratches you just grab a rattle can shake shake here you go no million dollar paint job on this thing you want to drive it not trailer it the uh, somebody noticed the bow tie bars this is one inch by half inch bar stock um, the bottom piece is one by one uh, 3 sixteenths wall tube I had made a plate to go top to bottom. I made a tube to go from front to rear, and then I built like this bridge over it. And I had a couple engineers look at it, and he says that's that's stronger than a bridge. So we'll try it. If it don't work, uh, I won't be able to reply if it works or not, because I won't be here. I might make these plates a little thicker, have them TIG welded. I don't know yet, but they come right off. It's very easy to uh, fix something. Actually, yeah, that might be a good idea to have all this TIG welded. See those little beads? That was a little cheap welder I had years ago. And uh, sometimes I had to go backwards and do some things over because it wasn't the greatest. But I got to go to work and get my plates welded. I give a new guy at work. He brings them home, welds them all up. And uh, he's a uh, great welder. Um, he's got a nice system at home. I love that speedometer. It's too sweet. Sweet matching horn button. Now I said, yo, it's rusting, it's it's uh, aluminum. The cap is actually aluminum and it's got a chrome plating over it. More than likely they dipped it in nickel first and they put the chrome plate over it, then they paint the white and the blue. It's like a porcelain in here, really. It's still pretty smooth, but the chrome rusted to death. Which gives it its vintage look. That steering wheel is freaking sick. I think it's the second time I said that, ain't it? But it's a sweet day out and I gotta grab my metal and put it in the Jeep. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow and you'll probably see this video then. It's gonna be five feet tall. Okay guys, see you tomorrow.